This device from a German startup has succeeded where even global corporations have failed. It heats and cools using only magnets without refrigerants. It's 30 to 50% cheaper and more efficient than heat pumps, air conditioners, or refrigerators. Invented by researchers at the Technical University of Darmstadt, it was developed almost like a garage project without billions in funding. But how exactly can magnets influence temperature? And why is it more efficient than even the best heat pumps or AC systems? The answer lies in one of physics' most important, but least understood, phenomena, entropy. The concept of entropy was developed in 1865 by physicist Rudolf Clausius, out of necessity. He was trying to understand how heat behaves in machines, and how it could be efficiently used in engines, similar to Saudi Carnot, the father of thermodynamics. But Clausius made a disturbing discovery. Heat can perform work, yes, but not perfectly. A certain amount of energy always seemed to disappear. This seemed to contradict the newly established law of energy conservation. Clausius concluded that the energy wasn't lost, just no longer measurable or usable. He proposed that energy could be stored in the order of atoms. The more ordered a system is, the more energy is theoretically stored in it. This idea sounded unbelievable at first, but it's measurable. For example, when producing one cubic centimeter of neodymium magnet, there's an energy gap of around 0.013 watt-hours that isn't released as heat, light, or motion. That energy is stored in the magnet's internal atomic order, its low entropy state. This connection between order and energy is also why magnets are the key to highly efficient thermal systems. Magnets allow us to directly manipulate entropy and energy. Materials like gadolinium heat up when magnetized. Their atoms realign and release or absorb energy, similar to refrigerants but more controlled and efficient. Refrigerants require mechanical compression and expansion, involving compressors, valves, and moving parts. Energy-intensive and complex, magnets don't. Just switch them on or off. This insight was understood globally, but only the researchers in Darmstadt cracked the problem. And they did it with a surprisingly simple approach one that's now available on the market. Before we dive into performance data, a quick detour. Notice anything unusual in this image? It's a trick question. Everything but the cooling device itself was generated with Adobe Firefly. Researchers often snap blurry smartphone photos of amazing prototypes, and AI tools like Firefly now help restore and enhance them. Adobe's responsible AI principles are key here. Transparency, responsibility, and protecting creators. Unlike some platforms, Adobe didn't scrape artists' work without consent. Firefly also blocks real human images from being turned into fake videos. That makes it perfect for scientific communication. Back to magnets. The German startup Magnotherm has only 40 employees but is now a world leader in magnetic cooling. Founded in 2019, the company was spun out of TU Darmstadt with a mission to commercialize the magnetocaloric effect, the use of magnets in cooling systems, and they've succeeded. Their breakthrough is a component called an AMR, Active Magnetic Regenerator. At its core is a magnet component made from gadolinium or a new alloy called lanthanum, iron, and silicon. Gadolinium is relatively obscure but used in MRI contrast agents. Lefessi is more powerful but more complex. The innovation isn't the material itself, it's the way it's used. Typically, these materials offer only a 2 to 3 degrees Celsius temperature change, not enough for heating or cooling. We usually need at least 20 degrees Celsius. The Darmstadt team didn't invent a new material. They just stacked multiple AMR modules in series, like steps in a staircase. Each module increases or decreases the temperature by a few degrees. Add them up and you can go from 5 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius or vice versa. It works because a rotating magnet cyclically magnetizes and demagnetizes the modules in perfect rhythm. All parts interlock seamlessly. In traditional systems, stacking stages like this would be too inefficient due to losses from compressors and valves. But magnetic systems don't have those components. They're 100% silent and 30% more efficient, even in current commercial products. As of 2025, Magnotherm has several products available. Medical and lab logistics coolers, beverage coolers for events and hospitality, and pilot systems for supermarkets. Most exciting, though, are household appliances, heat pumps, AC units, and fridges. While few units have been sold so far, the company is pushing toward mass market entry through partnerships with major manufacturers. Why build your own factories when you can license the tech to giants like Daikin, Wiesmann, or Vaillant?
These firms already have the infrastructure to scale production to millions. But Magneto Calorics aren't without downsides. And the biggest criticism comes from a surprising direction. Research from Germany's Fraunhofer Institute suggests a potentially better alternative, elastocalorics. Why use complex magnet systems when mechanical stress, like applying pressure, can achieve similar effects? Materials like nitinol, a shape memory alloy, can trigger the same entropy-based temperature shifts without magnets. These systems are simpler and potentially cheaper. However, there are no commercial elastocaloric products yet. In real-world applications, today's best heat pumps still outperform the new magnetic systems because they're highly optimized for practical conditions. For example, the latest Daikin heat pump is specifically engineered for typical German homes. Even in old buildings, it can pay for itself within five to seven years. Can magnetocalorics or elastocalorics catch up fast enough to compete? That's the open question.